Earth with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a haughty Ohio Silver, the Lone Ranger. General Mills, makers of Cheerios, the ready-to-eat oat cereal that gives you go power, and Wheaties, the breakfast of champions, present by special recording, The Lone Ranger. And here's The Lone Ranger. A long time ago, a man fought an enormous animal bigger than an elephant. When I found the bones of that animal in the desert, I realized that size alone doesn't always win. That little man must have prepared himself to conquer the monster. He must have known, even in those days, that champions are made, not born. And that's still true today. Anyone hoping to become a champion needs lots of energy to sharpen his skills and to back those skills with power. Right, Lone Ranger. One of the big reasons champions choose Wheaties is for energy to help them get on their way. It's easy to see where that energy comes from when you know there's a whole kernel of wheat in every Wheaties flake. Friends, keep in mind this advice from the Lone Ranger. Champions are made, not born. Get on your way with Wheaties. Breakfast of Champions. With his faithful Indian companion, Tonto... The daring and resourceful masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Let's go, we I am Silver. Hooray! Round Rock was crowded with excited men and women who had come from all parts of the Southwest to see a shooting match. Sheriff Tom Sunday stood near the bandstand, watching expert marksmen compete for the championship. When the contest narrowed down to three contestants, Jim McHenry, owner of the Western Star stage line, elbowed his way through the crowd of spectators to the sheriff's side. Yeah, all right, Sheriff. Well, Jim, if you get any closer, you're likely to stop a bullet. Well, just so I'm close enough to speak to the winner when the shooting's over, Sheriff. You want to be the first to congratulate him? I want to hire him to ride my stage coaches, a shotgun guy. Oh, a gent with a reputation for shooting fast and straight might be able to get the outlaws you haven't been able to capture. Now, uh, Jim, I'm doing my best to get the folks who run your stage coaches. Yeah, uh, your best hasn't been good enough. We'll capture the critters, but it takes time. Meanwhile, I'll make sure they don't get any more Western Star strongboxes. Hey, the match is over. You'd think he was a member of the family. Oh, he's going to be. Eh? He asked me to marry him. Oh, well, congratulations, sir. I didn't know you were getting a new son-in-law. Well, Dad didn't know it either, Mr. McKinley. That's right. <laughs> of course, I told Bob I'd ask your permission, Dad. You won't object, will you? If it'll make you happy, honey, I have no objection in the world. The fact is, I <clears throat> might even make Bob a deputy sheriff. Not a chance. I'm offering him a job as shotgun guard at twice the salary you pay your deputy. Yeah. I'm going to talk to him about it right now. Wait a minute, Mr. McHenry. I'll go with you. I want to talk to Bob, too. Oh, hey, Jeff. Yes. yes, what is it, Hank? Well, an engine's around here somewhere looking for you. What do you want? Hey, he didn't say, but he's anxious to talk to uh, you. A lot of engines from nearby tribes are in town. Finding the one who wants to see me in this crowd will be like looking for a needle in a haystack. A short, heavy set man known as Peter headed for Bluff Income Sundance Cafe on Round Rock's Main Street. Peter was a stagecoach driver for Jim McHenry's Western Star Line, but he also worked with a gang that had been robbing the stagecoaches. 
Peter was the only man in town who knew that Buck Income masterminded those robberies. As he went through the batwing doors, he saw the cafe owner at the far end of the bar. Hurrying through the crowd, he soon reached Bluff's side. Hi there, Bluff. How are you, Peter? Not so good. I've got bad news. You better go to my office where we can talk about it in private. Lead the way. Come on. There's a big crowd here. Yeah. Shooting match brought a lot of out-of-towners to Round Rock. Step inside, Peter. Sit down. Thanks. Is the run for today canceled? No, the stage will leave for Little Pine on schedule with a strong box full of gold aboard. Good, good. I'm glad to hear it. If you take my advice, you'll tell the boys to leave the strong box alone this trip. Why? Jim McHenry hired a new shotgun guard to make the trip to Little Pine with me. We've never had any trouble with guards before. McHenry hired Bob Wiggins. Oh, the winner of the shooting match. Yeah, he's fast with his guns, Bluff. I know. I saw him shooting this afternoon. After seeing him in action, I don't want to tangle with him. You'll have help when the time comes to deal with him. Count me out of it. All you have to do is throw off his aim in case he opens fire when the boys show themselves. And risk stopping a bullet? No, thanks. The boys will take care of Wiggins. Yeah, that's easier said than done. If they make a play for the strong box, someone's bound to stop lead. And it's not going to be me. Relax, Skeeter. I'll leave for Adobe Wells now to tell Hawk and the boys you'll get there about midnight. They'll get Bob Wiggins before he has a chance to shoot. Uh, up to now, it's been easy to work with you, Bluff. All I had to do was make sure the guard didn't shoot the boys. No one suspected me of being in cahoots with him. You're worried about nothing, Skeeter. We'll get rid of Wiggins tonight. Uh, don't expect me to lift a hand against him. You're as guilty as we are. So don't get any high and mighty ideas. No one knows I had a thing to do with the robbery. I know it. And I'll make things mighty rough if you get hard to handle. Oh, I don't want any trouble. You though. won't have any as long as you stay in line. The boys and I'll take care of Wiggins. <laughs> All right. But if you want to reach Adobe Wells ahead of the stage, you'd better leave town now. I'm due to start in 15 minutes. I'll saddle my horse right away. Some time after Bluff Incom left town, the Lone Ranger's Indian friend reached the masked man's camp. Oh, scout, oh, fella. Easy, scout. Easy, fella. Did you see the sheriff, Toto? A uh, big crowd in town came up, Bobby. Me not able to find sheriff. Big crowd? Ah. Uh, shooting match held in Round Rock today. The Round Rock shooting matches are famous in this part of the country. But I didn't know that this year's would be held today. Well, it's all over now. A young fella named Bob Wiggins wins. Oh? Where's he from? Him live in Round Rock. What about the handbill describing Hawk Murdo? Well, me slide handbill under door, sheriff's office. Good. Then, while me try find sheriff, me ask questions of people about Hawk Murdo. Were you able to learn anything about him? Ah. Me learn, fellow with scar on forehead and tattoo mark on arm, work at way station of stage line under name of Slim Jessup. There's only one way station between here and Little Pine. Not right. And Murdo at Adobe Wells. In that case, we'll go after him. Easy, 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 easy come on. The me think him have hand in stage robbery. What stage robbery? I mean, here that outlaws rob stage four times and run between Round Rock and Little Pine. Little Pine's a railroad town. Ah. A gold sent there to be shipped east. If outlaws are operating around here, Hawk Murdo's likely working with them. Come on, Toto. We'll ride to Adobe Wells. Until we drop down. In Round Rock, several hours later, Sheriff Sunday returned to his locked office. His daughter Mary and Jim McHenry, the state line owner, were with him. Uh, Jim, if you'd have said the word, I'd have left town aboard the stage with Bob and Skeeter. Well, it wasn't necessary, Sheriff. The best shot in this part of the country working for me. I, I'm not worried about trouble on this run. I hope there isn't any trouble. What's that on the floor, Dad? Hey, it looks like a handbell. Someone must have slipped it under the door while you were out. It is a handbell. Who's wanted, Sheriff? Hey, let's see. Fellas wanted for robbery and murder. Five feet, nine inches tall, and 145 pounds, scar on his forehead. 
Tattooed eagle on his left arm. Here, let me see that hand. Yeah, there. read it if you want it. Description doesn't mean a thing to me. The killer's name is Hawk Murdo. Yeah. Do you know him, Mr. McHenry? The description fits the man I hired six months ago to work at the Adobe Wells station. You mean Hawk Murdo's working for you? He told me his name was Slim Jessup, but he lied. Are you sure? I'm dead sure. A beard covered the lower part of his face, but I remember noticing a scar on his forehead and that tattooed eagle on his left arm. If he's at the Adobe Wells station, Bob's heading for trouble. I'll start for the way station right away. I'll go with you, Sheriff. If I'd known Slim was a crook, I'd never have hired him. I'm wondering if he knows about the stage robberies that have been going on. I'll bet he knows plenty about them. Well, come on, Jim. We've a long ride ahead of us. I'm with you, Sheriff. We'll continue our Lone Ranger adventure in just a moment. Jenny is ten, and is she good? She's skip rope champ of the neighborhood. She's so quick because she knows she's got gold power from Cheerios. Yes, she's got gold power. There she goes. She's feeling her Cheerios. 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 That makes sense. Try Cheerios, the wonderful oat cereal that's shaped like a little letter O, and you'll agree. You like that delicious toasted oat flavor, and Cheerios is ready to eat. Just pour out a big bowlful, add good fresh milk, dig in, and start getting your go power. Because a Cheerios breakfast is full of vitamins, proteins, and minerals. And those are the good things you need to help build red blood, healthy bodies, and strong muscles. So enjoy your breakfast every day with delicious Cheerios and milk, and get that good go power. Then folks will say... <laughs> She's feeling her Cheerios. Now to continue. Oh, oh there. Daddy. A brilliant moon was high in a cloudy sky late that night when Bluff Income drew rain at the Adobe Wells way station. As he dismounted, Slim Jessup, alias Hawk Murdo, came outside. Assuming that his unkempt beard concealed his identity, the thin, sharp-featured killer felt secure from the law. But his eyes narrowed beneath his scarred forehead as he greeted Bluff Income. Uh, we didn't expect to see you tonight, Bluff. You're a long way from Round Rock. I rode hard to get here ahead of the stage, Hawk. What's wrong? Nothing we can't handle. Left you and Judd around. They ain't tried playing charge. I want to talk to all of you. Come on. Yeah, sure. Hello, boys. What's on your mind? Jim McHenry hired a new shotgun guard today. Did you come all the way from Round Rock to tell us that? I came all the way from Round Rock to tell you we'll have to kill him. What? Kill him? Now, here's how we'll handle it. When Skeeter drives in to change horses, we'll take the shotgun guard by surprise. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Lone Ranger and Toto were riding hard toward the way station to get the outlaw, Hawk Murdo. We've got to reach the way station ahead of the stage, Toto. Uh, if stage carries strong marks, maybe we get there in time to stop robbery. The masked man nodded and urged Silver to a faster pace. Come Silver! Come! A short time later, the two riders angled down from the hills toward the clearing, where the adobe built station stood. Easy, Silver, easy, yeah, boy. At the edge of the clearing surrounding the station, the Lone Ranger signaled a halt. Oh, 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 easy, easy, be As easy, he swung from the saddle, easy, he glanced at the sky. Those clouds will soon cover the moon, Toto. They'll be able to move close to the station without being seen. Ah. Look, Bobby, yes. you look at side of the station. There's still light enough to see three horses standing at ground hitch. You're right. I wonder if riders know station agent crook. If they're friends of Hawk Murdo's, they may be as crooked as he is. Ah. Clouds cover moon now. Yeah, come on. We'll look through the window in the side of the building before we show ourselves. Ah. As the masked man and his Indian friend advanced through the darkness toward the lighted window, the stagecoach approached the isolated station. A few moments later, Skeeter halted the team. Oh! 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 Bluff 
Income, Judd, and Lefty waited inside the building with guns drawn. Now, Hawk, you talk Skeeter and Bob Wiggins into coming inside. Why not gun the guard outside? With the moon under the cloud, we might miss him. If he's as handy with a gun as you say he is, you better get him with a first shot. That's the idea, Lefty. Well, you inside? Yes, yeah, Skeeter. Tell him to bring the guard inside. I can't do that. Company rules say one of them's got to stay with the stage. And tell Skeeter to send the guard in. Did Skeeter do it? He knows all about the plan. All right. I'll go out and talk to him. Well, Skeeter, you're right on time. Well, this, uh, this is a new shotgun guard. His name's Bob Wiggins. Glad to know you, Slim. Well, same here, Wiggins. Well, why not step inside the station and help yourself to some hot coffee? Oh, I'll stay with the stage, thanks. No need to, Bob. I'll stay here and keep an eye on things. It'll do you good to stretch your legs. Well, it might help. You might bring me a cup of coffee. I'll drink it while Slim changes horses. All right, Peter. I'll only be a minute. Take your time. Come on, Wiggins. I'll show you where to find the cups. Oh, fine. Hawk Murdo walked through the open station door ahead of Bob Wiggins and quickly stepped to the side out of the line of fire. Then the Lone Ranger shouted a warning from the open side window. Wiggins, you're walking yes. to a six gun hey, what the... As the masked man spoke, he triggered his twin code. <laughs> from the doorway, Bob saw two of the outlaw's guns spin in the air as silver bullets struck them. Lefty and Judd were disarmed, but Bluff Income and Hawk Murdo turned toward the window with cries of rage. Who's that? A masked man! By that time, Bob's weapons were out of their holsters. But before he could fire, the Lone Ranger's coat roared again. <laughs> Bluff Income dropped his gun, screaming with pain, as a bullet brushed the knuckles of his right hand, while Murdo fell under the impact of a bullet in the shoulder. Oh, Skeeter, help us! Get Wiggins to the masked man! I do not expect any help from Skeeter. No. Let go of me! Let go! Oh, hold still! I'll get him, Bluff! With his gun smashed beyond repair, the killer named Judd snatched the knife from his belt. Hey. But the blade shattered as a silver bullet hit its mark. Oh, great day alive, mister! No. Give me a chance to shoot! Some of those men, Wiggins, will I come inside? My guns are ready for and I'm downright anxious for a chance to use them. Now, wait a minute, Bob. This is all a mistake. Yeah, it sure is, Bluff. And I want to find out who made the mistake. That masked man? Before didn't... you talk about the masked man, tell me what you're doing well, here. Well, I, I can explain. It'll take a lot of explaining to cover your reason uh, for asking Skeeter to get the masked man and me. Bring Skeeter in here, Toto. Uh, hey, bring him in. Oh. Oh. Get that gun out of my wrist, did you? Oh. Walk ahead. Oh. All right, all right. Wiggins, these men are waiting to kill you. What? How do you know? Oh, we were at the window when the stage arrived. Not when I overheard their plans. Well, if you're here to rob the stage... We're get... here to get Hawk Murdo. Who? The man you know as Slim is wanted for robbery and murder. You're lying. Handbills don't lie, Murdo. I have one in my pocket describing you. Bluff, you jughead. I warned you to leave well enough alone this trip. Shut up, Skeeter. Hey, a couple of horsemen are heading this way. Yes, you're right. If they're crooks planning to steal a strong oh, box, they... Oh, hey, it's the sheriff. What? Oh, 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 the sheriff of all the luck. Sheriff, we heard gunfire. He's murdered the trouble. The trouble's over, Sheriff. Yes. Hey, what happened here? Who's the masked man? The engine. And these two fellas. I'm on your side of the law, Sheriff. With the mask over your face? How about Tron, Sheriff? Is he a friend of yours, Bob? No, I never saw him before tonight. But if he hadn't been here, I'd be a dead man right now. Yeah. He's gents ready to kill me as soon as I walk through the door. But why? I don't know. But I know Skeeter's in cahoots with him. Oh, you can't class me with killers. Slim Jessup. I mean, Hawk Murdo's a killer. I didn't know that, Mr. McHenry. I, I thought his name was Keep Slim. Keep quiet, Skeeter. Bluff. A respectable cafe owner. You're in mighty bad company. Sheriff, sure, I can explain why I'm You're not going to lie out of this and leave me holding the bag with these polecats bluffs. Shut up, Skeeter. And give you a chance to alibi your way into the clear. Not a chance. I'll talk and tell the truth. You double coffin, If Bluff had taken my advice, we'd all be in the clear. I told him this afternoon Jim McHenry had hired a new guard. I told him to let the stage go through this trip without trouble. But he had to make a play for the strong box. The strong box? Don't worry, Jim. It's safe. Well, I'll go outside and make sure of that. It was Bluff's idea to kill Wiggins. Got him before he had a chance to get his six shooters into play. Skeeter, you dirty yellow back squealer. You're as guilty as I Keep am. talking, Skeeter. And you may lighten your sentence. That's what I aim to do. Sheriff, Hawk Murdo is wounded. He's wounded to be taken care of, mister. Well, how'd you and Jim McHenry know I'd have trouble here, Jim? Well, we didn't know it till I found the handbill someone left under the door of my office. Jim recognized the description, so we left town pronto. Tonto left the handle for you, Sheriff. Hey, Tonto? Ah. Me look for you in town, Sheriff. Oh, so you're the engine Hank told me about. Ah. Uh-huh. 
When we learn Hop Murdo work at Adobe Wells Station, we go back to Lone Ranger it's camp. And uh, tell him where fine crook. Lone Which? Ranger? Masked friend, Lone Ranger. Wait, is that true, mister? Yeah, Sheriff. And now that you have Murdo and his pals, the son and I will be on our way. Hey, <laughs> I wish you'd stay around. We may meet again. I owe my life to you, mister. I'm glad we were here to help you, Bob. Adios. Adios. Going into the jail, in there. Right. Early the next morning, Sheriff Sunday, Bob Wiggins, and Jim McHenry returned to Round Rock with their prisoners. The sheriff's daughter, Mary, was waiting in the lawman's office. Hey, what are these men doing here? I'll tell you later, honey. Warn you I'll breeze in the cell. After greeting his daughter, the sheriff and Jim McHenry took the prisoners back to the cell block. Oh, I'm glad you're all back. I was so worried. But I suppose I shouldn't have been. After all, I knew you were the best shot in the whole Southwest, Bob. <laughs> Honey, I hope you always think I'm the best. But... But what, Bob? I hope you never meet the Lone Ranger. Copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated is produced by Pendle Campbell Muir Incorporated. The part of the Lone Ranger is played by Brace Beamer. Your announcer, Fred Boyd. Listen to the Lone Ranger, brought to you by Special Recording Monday.